This is Rob Ismier and you're watching Sport and Icons. Okay, so KSI has said that if Jake Paul and Tommy Fury were to fight, Jake Paul would beat him. This is what he had to say. I hate to say it, Jake would win. I just think Jake is dedicating more time to training compared to Tommy. I think Tommy just does boxing because it's the thing to do in his family, but I don't think he's as dedicated as someone like Tyson. KSI statement. Can anybody really disagree with that? Listen, some people will in regards to the result, but I think a lot of people will choose based on who they want to win rather than who they really think would win between um, Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Now, as far as the dedication is concerned, Jake Paul has his own business empire, if you like, as a entrepreneur, as an influencer, all that kind of thing. But yet he's still putting boxing in his life in a big, big way. He is. Zero amateur experience, zero. But yet he has a far better resume than a Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury, who did have a bit of an amateur career. Okay, it wasn't extensive, but he did have an amateur career. And he's been around boxing his entire life. Obviously with his brother Tyson, with his uh, cousin Huey, with his uh, dad John, his uncle Peter and uh, Shane, of course, was in boxing for a while. Roman is now in boxing. And so he's been around boxing for a long time. Of course, his other cousin, in uh, Nathan Gorman, that as well. So you would think that this would rub off on Tommy. Maybe Tommy feels like he has to do it. Maybe he feels like he's forced into it. And even John himself, it said that Tommy isn't as dedicated as what he wants him to be. When he's gone to Las Vegas, for example, to do some training with Tyson, John got irritable when he's seen Tommy not training as much as what he should be, instead spending his time jumping off yachts and boats and coming back way overweight. Again, Tommy's only just had over half a dozen fights. And he's supposed to be a light heavyweight. He hasn't made light heavyweight in quite some time. That's worrying because clearly maybe he's not that dedicated. He isn't. Now, as far as um, him comparing him to uh, Tyson, of course, um, Tommy's brother or half brother, however, in Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson is very, very dedicated. But again, people will look at it and go, but there was a period when he wasn't dedicated, where he would balloon up in weight in between fights and things like that. Of course, he took two and a half, three years off and whatever. How dedicated has he been? Tommy's just going through what Tommy, what uh, Tyson did. But Tyson did all that after he'd already achieved. He'd already won the British and the, and the Commonwealth and the European. He'd already done all that. Tommy hasn't even won an area belt yet. Can he ever win an area belt? I don't know. Maybe Tommy's whole thing, ever since that uh, Celebrity Love Island thing, whatever it is, which of course he only got invited because he's the brother of Tyson, maybe that's got to his head. Maybe boxing isn't really for him. Maybe it's not. Maybe he's looking to get the bag, get the money as quick as possible. And, and, and if that's what he wants to do, fair play. If he can do it, fair play. But of course, he's doing it on the back of the fact that he's Tyson's brother. He's doing it on the back of that Love Island program that he'd done. But even though those people who watch Love Island quite clearly don't watch boxing because Tommy fights in front of empty seats for the most part but yet somehow demands a huge purse to take on Jake Paul. And if you're Tommy, you have to be a little bit concerned. The fact that is the people like Jake Paul and KSI, these YouTubers, quote unquote, who are calling you out. They're not calling anybody else out. They're calling you out because they see you as beatable. They do. You are on record as officially a professional boxer. But they see you as not very good. And I know his dad, John, has said how Tommy punches as hard as a heavyweight and if he doesn't knock out Jake Paul, then he'll retire him. Well, that's all very well and good because at that point, he's already made the money and he can walk away, can't he? But Tommy's not a big puncher. At one time, I thought he was, but it, he hasn't stopped anybody in quite some time. He seems to be regressing. His ring generalship seems to be lacking his skills his power is dipping maybe that's because he's fighting at the cruiserweight limit i don't know but again as he starts to move up the levels with or without a jake paul however and if he ends up getting in the ring with people on a, I, I can look at say cruiserweights in my area ice him like rob ismay adam gear michael webster they would batter tommy fury to a pulp 
and they haven't had, had that many more fights than Tommy. Someone like Aaron Chalmers would beat Tommy Fury. So for Jake Paul to beat Tommy Fury, yeah, he probably would. Probably would. Because Jake Paul does seem like he's dedicated. Whether you like Jake Paul, whether you don't, and you call him a YouTuber or you like, he's more of a professional boxer than Tommy Fury. His resume is better than Tommy Fury. His last fight against Anderson Silva, okay, so he's a former MMA fighter. But Anderson Silva has been boxing for a little while as well. Okay, let's get on a bit. It wasn't so long ago, he beat uh, Chavez Jr., former super middleweight world champion. Anderson Silva beat him. Jake Paul just beat Anderson Silva. Jake Paul has been knocking people out. Tommy hasn't. Tommy went the distance with somebody who'd only had, what, one boxing bout? And lost that one? So, yeah, I understand what uh, KSI is saying. For sure I do. For sure. Would I put money that I couldn't afford to lose on it, that Jake Paul beats Tommy? No, I couldn't. And I wouldn't. But if I really had to pick one, I'll probably say Jake Paul at this point. And that's got to irritate someone like John. Because John, he lives and breathes boxing. He does. And to have to almost drag your son into training every day to make sure what they're doing and checking up on this grown man must irritate John. I said, yes, Tyson, Tyson's had his moments of prattling around outside the ring and not being dedicated. But again, he'd already achieved a lot before he started doing that. Before he achieved the British, the European, the Commonwealth and all these kind of things, he was dedicating himself. He went through the amateur system. He went on the small hall shows. He went here, there and everywhere and took on those that he could. He did all that because he was interested in learning his craft. That's why he's a fighter that he is today. Tommy, I don't see that in him. I don't see it. I don't think he's dedicated. And I said, that must irritate John. It must irritate him no end. And if, if all Tommy's interested in is fighting these celebrity matches to get money that, let's be honest, he doesn't really deserve. But if he does get it, hey, good on him. Good on him. If he wants to go fight the Jake Paul, make some money. Go fight KSI, make some money. Go fight um, Aaron Chalmers, make some money. Go fight, um, what, what, what's that guy who's making a bit of news? Is it Andrew Tate, I think his name is. Go make some money then. But concentrate on that one and be honest about it. If you want to be a professional boxer, then stay away from that side and be a professional boxer. It appears he wants to go the celebrity route. Make the quick money. I said, fair play. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see if these two even fight. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.